You know I love the soaps and people who do soaps and stuff beyond. This person is a definition of a working actor. I'm a fan of hers. We're talking to Crystal Hunt next. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. <laughs> a familiar theme to many of you, and it makes me kind of sad because it was off the air. I mean, talk about a show that was on for like 60 something years. Hi, uh, welcome to Spotlight On, and that's the Guiding Light theme, and this person was on there a, a while back, but she's been on many things. I'm just, let me just name a few things on her resume. These are just a few things. Sydney White, The Derby Stallion, Queens of Drama, Guiding Light, One Life to Live, Magic Mike XXL, 23 Blast, Hilton Head Eye. I just keep going on and on I know. and on. I mean, you, you are a working actor. <laughs> you are. You. She, and she also is an Emmy nominee, too, for her work on Guiding Light, I believe. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yes. Correct. And Guiding Light. So, and a belated happy birthday to you because it was last week, wasn't yes, it? That's correct. Miss Crystal Hunt. Why, thank you very much. Nice to see you. So much to talk about. I know we do. So we have a lot to talk about. We have a lot, which I love these kind of shows because you're somebody that we'll talk about this too. I want to know what your motivation is to stay in this business because it's, well, I'm going to ask you that now. What is your motivation to stay in this business? It's. I would do it for free. Wow. Yeah, I think that that's kind of the thing. I got accepted into a couple Ivy League schools the same week that I got Guiding Light. Wow. and. I was gonna go for medicine. Is what I was gonna. It was, that was my fallback plan if, wow. if entertainment didn't work out. But um, yeah, I mean, as much as I am intrigued by so much of medicine, mm -hmm. uh, I can't say that it would be the one thing that I. It's not this. Like yeah. it's not like I feel like it truly is. It. I would do it for free. It's fun. It's it's yeah. going to work to do something you really do enjoy and would never really think of as work. And see, they always say that's the key, right? Yeah. That's the key. To, I, that's why I love doing I love doing this. I mean, and I don't I do, know that yeah. that really, it, it's rare to exist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some people don't find it until way later either. Yeah, it's true. Well, some people never find it. Yeah, who knew? I knew I'd find it in the middle of my senior year of high school. So that is, that, that yeah. is young. That is young. Yeah. And so, I mean, so you were prepared to go off to Ivy League school, go study medicine, and but the acting thing was still part of you in high school? Was it part of your life at all? Oh, I mean, thing? I went to New York every single summer and okay. studied with my same acting coach, or like did wow. intensives. Wow. And so, yeah, I mean, but during the year, I also did internships with certain, uh, some plastic surgeons, some different types of medicine. Wow. Um, so, yeah, that was, I did everything on my summer so I could I'm actually sorry. cover everything because yeah. you had to do so many hours with interns. It was a All medical right. magnet high school. So oh, wow. everything was medically based. And was this in New York? It was in Florida. In Florida, okay, Florida. Mm -hmm. Wow, a medical mat. Look, like my my kids go to a art based school. Mm -hmm. I love those kind of schools that have like specific kind of, you know, um, direction. Yeah. Yes, direction. That's no, it's cool. so helpful because you become a CNA like right at the That's... beginning of high school. Then you get to actually scrub into surgeries. You get to see so many things that you never ever thought that you ever would. You get to do clinicals and like. A shadow so many different occupations in the medical industry it's oh. it's really neat it really yeah. i mean as long as you don't have a weak stomach on some of them <laughs> I'm, a f I'm a former nurse so i understand oh, okay in high school we had a work release program and then we also had um a trade school program mm -hmm. so when i got to junior in high school i all i had to take was the morning classes were like the class you had to take like english and civics yeah. or whatever then the afternoon I went to a place called Scrock here in Los Angeles, uh -huh. um, and I learned how to be. I became a CMA and a CNA in high school. Like, oh, very so you say cool. that, and I became a nurse after high school. I went to college and became a nurse. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it was, it, it was, it really was a rude awakening for me because it, it was the only way, too, that I was going to get out of private school because I was in private Baptist school Ooh. my entire life, oh. and so. Oh. I was like, Mom, can I, can I, if you get accepted in that magnet program, that's the only way you're going to get out of going. Wow. And for me, it was just the uniforms. But then I didn't realize, <laughs> like, I didn't realize until after I left how much I'm like, I, I mean, yeah, we did all of the same courses you guys did, yeah. but evidently we had a far harder system, like wow. with the books that they use, yeah. the, the private schools and the Christian yeah. schools, yeah. as well as you learned about everything and how it pertained to the Bible. It was like everything oh, was funny. illustrated in like biblical like analogies and wow. stuff, even your math, everything. everything. That's interesting. I know. Wow. So then I realized very quickly how different it was yeah. going from that to yeah. even, even though it was a uh, magnet school, to yeah. go to something that's a public school. Yeah, I was right. like, 
It was night yeah, and day for me. That must be. Now we have fans who are watching live, and so I want to give. So Candace Mack says, been a fan of Crystal since Course Guiding Light. Aww. Met her at a few events, and of course met Roxy too. Aww. So, and then Kenneth Clarkson saying hi. He's in here also. Um, we're going to start actually with, because I said we're going to kind of go a little backwards. I, I'm picking some of, the, some of the big things you've done. And one of the things you did last year was a series called Hilton Head Island, which Correct. is a, was it 20 episodes? 20, I can't remember. It was, like, it was a lot of episodes. It was like 22 or something Yeah, like which that. you don't yeah, do much anymore. Yeah, we knocked them out fast. Okay, we're going to show you the trailer right now. And you'll see some familiar faces in this trailer. Let's go next. And bye, guys. A little bit of tech back oh, here. Okay, okay. Give me a minute. No, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. It's, I mean, we have Donna Mills, Michael Swan. Of course, if you guys know who he is, he's from uh, Astro World Turns and mm -hmm. Born Beautiful. Antonio Sabato Jr. I mean, like. Wink some, Martindale. Yeah, it's like some great names. I was like, really? I'm like, oh my goodness. And it's, okay. And now we go, let's go. We're going to talk more about it after this. 60 seconds. Are we hot? Yeah, Dave. All good. The president attended a meeting today with it's major good. congressional leaders from both. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Hey, Daniel! Daniel! Hey, somebody call the ambulance! Was it a stroke? It's too early to make an accurate diagnosis. Your husband needs monitoring. Dad suffered a cerebral event. What do the doctors say? It's what they don't say, which is plenty. I just spoke with Alicia. She's catching the first flight down from Baltimore. If there's anything to be done, Alicia will know. Who better to care for him <laughs> than his own daughter? Call an emergency board meeting. Tell them that Daniel Trisk will be taking temporary leave of absence, and they'll be appointing a new interim CEO. Tell him, girl. Is that gonna be me? Me. <laughs> like, me. Me. I love that. Who was also your Queen's Drama co-star? I mean, uh, she's also my like girlfriend. It's so funny. <laughs> I was like, I was like, it's funny because when we heard about this project, I was like, well, Donna's doing it, then just you know, I'll do it. They're like, are you sure? Do you want to like Hello. read everything? For I was like, listen, if Donna's read it, right. Like hello, she, there's Mills. no there's no greater litmus test. Right, like she's if if she signed on board and she's already read it and this thing is a rush needs to be done yesterday. <laughs> sign me up, fine. I'm I'm good. I met her once and she is actually one of the most down to earth people. She really is. Everybody thinks, of course, because she was Abby and all this stuff on a nice name, but she's really just this down to earth woman who has a family and you just like. Just I mean, a... she drives out of her way <laughs> yes. to come to Forbes, my dog's yeah. birthday parties. Yeah. God, I mean, so, so did Wink Martindale. Wink Martindale sang him happy birthday. <laughs> oh I, mean, I mean, you can't get more down to earth than that. Can Wink. you believe it though for yourself? I mean, these are icons that are with you celebrating your, your dog's birthday. It's. It's incredible. Yeah. I, I think it's even more, um, I guess, because I, I, I would, was not around for the Knott's Landing era, and no. I was named after Linda Evans on Dynasty. Um, oh, my God. That's yeah. so, oh, my God. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Yes. It was actually funny. We did a, um, a charity event at Chelsea Pierce back in the day, and, yeah. and um, they were like, uh, Crystal, could you... We just we need to move you because we're doing a group, you know, they do those group photos yeah. at the end. Can we just, can we put you in the back a little bit next to Linda? And I came over there, I went over there oh and was, she was like, hi, Linda, nice to meet you. I said, Crystal, nice to meet you. She's like, oh my gosh, that's so funny. I go, oh no, what's even funnier is that's why I was named that. So She's you like, met oh her. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh my God, that's a full circle moment. I right? love that. Did you get a picture together alone at all while you were there? Or no, did you get a chance to? I don't know. Was it for your I, parents? Was it for your parents? Like, hi. Come yeah, me. right? I yeah. don't know. I was so young. I don't even know if I like had, had it in me to be like, um, I need this photo. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, but right. you know what? With all the all the ladies yeah. from those shows that yeah. Donna hangs out with, they're, yeah. I'm bound to be able to have that moment yeah. again. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure you'll have, you'll sure you'll have it again. Um, it's like, so this is called, I love this, a hope opera. Yes. And it's on Pure Flix. So Pure Flix, is that like a Christian version of Netflix or something? Or like, what is it? It's, they, it's, it's like, a, it's a Netflix with a positive message. Okay. It's, it's, you know, it's a Netflix that you can allow your kids to take the remote and scroll through and there's not one thing on there going to be like, okay. oh God, let me put the, let me <laughs> change the settings on that, yes. honey. Like, it's not like yeah. that at all. It's something that anybody can watch. And yes. I mean, as you will see in Hilton Head Island, there's there's still the same risque things that happen yeah. in primetime soaps. There's still, you know, uh, affairs and things like yeah. that. But yeah. it's just not as I in your face. Yeah, I get it. I understand that part. Yes, but it's, it's still quality entertainment. So you still get the drama. You still get the 
as a, on any other exactly. day. But just little, there are things they probably leave out. Yeah, and it's the same writer as Falcon Crest, so it's actually great writing. <gasps> didn't realize that. Wow. Yeah. Like, just like, see, got me all excited. I didn't realize that. Wow, I love Falcon Crest too. Yeah. But it's, that's, it's, this is what I'm loving about this medium now of, of now television is not just on television now. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of, so many talented soap people behind the scenes are creating content for you it's guys. That's true. And, and also, I mean, the greatest thing about this was it was all green screen. Like, oh. there was no set at all. <laughs> oh, you didn't God. have to worry about set changes. You didn't have to worry about, like, oh you know, it, it was unreal. Oh, that is crazy. The, the only thing I would say that was like a little hard for uh, Donna and I both, because we're, we're so used to you know creating a set and like yeah. knowing the feel of it and yeah in the environment of it and knowing what furniture pieces oh, are which places yeah, yeah. and and like what everything sort of look you know, do you know yeah. what i'm saying it's mm -hmm. about sort mm -hmm. of creating that yeah. environment um the only thing i would say is i would uh, we it would have been really great too and i'm like S if we do a season two we want to know yeah. what these areas look like yeah. In creating them, because that's the only thing is when you're in a green screen, yeah. there are a couple pieces of furniture. Okay. And then yeah. once they line up on the markers of where they're supposed to be, then everything uh, just sort of comes to life. How amazing is that? I know it's really crazy. There's so much. I mean, the technology today is just. I didn't even know that. It's amazing. That's how we could fly through it so fast. I guess yeah, because you, know, you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait for. I'm gonna do this and let's change that and this set over here. Like you don't have to worry about that. On soaps, anytime there's a set change, I mean, an easy set change, just from the set that's on this side of the studio to the set that's on yeah. this side of the studio, is a, a minimum of 45 minute change. God, that's so crazy. So that must be the way. That must be the way to go now. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty incredible. Um, Cashback said it was a good show. I mean, Donna is the queen, point blank. I agree. Yeah, we all agree. We all agree. Yeah. On that one, and that's interesting to see those people. That's green screen. So yeah, that's I did not know that when I was doing my research, they didn't say that. So that's very interesting. It yeah. looks so real. It really does. I mean, it does. Um, it looks and so it's real. funny too because the um, the exterior of the Trisk Mansion yeah. is actually the same location in Hilton Head Island where we shot the interiors of. Magic Mike Double XL. Oh my god! Like the the house that was Andy McDowell's house in yeah. the film. Yeah. Yeah. They used those exterior shots to be the exterior <laughs> of the Trisk house. I was like, wait, I did all my night shoots all through Halloween That's and so everything funny. in that house. That's I mean, so small. It's a small world. I mean, seriously, it really, it really is. is a small world. And you did. You speak like you did Magic Mike XXL. Was it fun when the movie came out for your friends? Like, I'm in this movie that, you know, it's known for a girl's night out kind of thing. And I mean, how was that? I mean, how of was that? course it was. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and even more so, it was just, for me, it was exciting because I always loved Matt Bomer so much. And, yeah. and I Another guy might alum. I know. And I hadn't seen him yeah. in a while. And, wow. and, I mean, he was the one person that I always found myself, like, getting you know making sure i got my hair makeup and everything done got you know <laughs> got in a wardrobe early and would like even sit on the dark set on the other side of the studio to watch him work because i just loved watching him work He's so good he really is and oh and, and he hasn't changed one bit oh, he hasn't. truly the moment i arrived on set i was like all right i'm not gonna lie i'm a little like <laughs> yeah. i'm a little like i hope this I hope he's the same man, yeah. and I hope this goes yeah. smoother than what I anticipate. <laughs> Mike, so I walk out of my trailer, and I hear, Crystal Hunt. I saw your name on the call list, and I wasn't call sheet, and I, I, I it had to be you. There's only one. It's only one of you. I know. Yeah, so, he's yeah. like, come here. Let me introduce you to everybody, and literally just dragged me around and introduced <laughs> me to everybody right then, right after I just got out of the van and oh, put my so stuff funny. in the trailer. <laughs> I was like, okay, no. well, there's zero nerves now. <laughs> That's out the window. Thank you, I mean, you, folks, Matt. you guys remember, he played a really good character on Gotti Light. And, his, 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 and I could see the acting then. I could see that it was such a strong actor. And I thought, he may just quite stay on soaps and do that, but he, I mean, he's exploded, and he's just he's so Absolutely. good. Absolutely. And everything he does, he's so good. Oh, it's so true. I he agree. Just, he just, he's such a great actor. Um, now, okay, so we're going to go back a little bit, folks. And Christy Ferris is my girl. She's been uh -huh. on my show several times. I love her. Yeah. Uh, I met Lizzie yeah. Hartley. Love her. Super nice. Beautiful. Super nice. And I met Donna one time. So I haven't met anybody else on the show. But this show, Queens of Drama, that we're talking about, mm -hmm. people to this day, when I said I was interviewing you, were like, ask her this one question. Everybody wants to know this one question. <laughs> and I don't know if she can answer because she wasn't, I mean, who knows. Why wasn't there a season two? Um, 
well people people really wanted a season two yeah i mean we weren't canceled right and that's what i said they weren't in canceled. fact they and my part of my whole plan was because because we were waiting um to get an you know an answer yeah. um i that's when I brought Vanessa Marcel on the yeah. the red carpet with me to the Magic yes, Mike I, premiere. Yes, I remember. I saw that. Right and then she grabbed my boobs <laughs> on the know, red I carpet. Know, I, know, I, know, I, know, I, I kid you not, it <laughs> wasn't 24 hours, and they're like, "We're gonna do a season two. I was like, "Girl, it worked." <laughs> it worked. <laughs> I might be blonde, but Mama didn't raise no fool. No, you're not. You're not a fool at all. I can tell <laughs> that already. So I um. Everybody's like, exactly, James. Thank you, thank you for asking that question. If I, if I really want to know what, I, uh, honestly, I you don't know, right? I, well, no, I have a general idea. Um, there was, uh, I think, one of the shows that was newly on there, and I believe it was. Um, John Legend did a show on there. Oh, um, yeah, okay, I can't remember what it is, but you're right, yes. And I think he was also a producer on it as well. I'm sure, yeah. And I think there was something to do with sort of fighting for a time slot with mm -hmm. that show, and mm -hmm. by the time they kind of got it figured out, then it kind of was like a, there was a little bit of a lull there. Yeah. And I don't think that that's why, and I think other people started doing other things. And Well, you know, I loved the actual premise that it was strong women, because you guys are all strong women, mm -hmm. coming together to make something for yourselves, which is now what everybody's doing now, of course. Mm -hmm. You guys are a little ahead of the game a little bit. But like that was something, I liked that premise of a show. Like We're trying, and I've had Christy on my shows, we talked about that, how you guys are like, we're all these strong women, we know soap, there's only, mm -hmm. there's only four soaps left. Why don't we create a project for us? And for our friends, and, like, and produce it ourselves, and write it ourselves. I mm -hmm. thought, what a great concept. Yeah, I mean. I mean, the truth is, we all are going to at some point, yeah, so yeah. it's kind of a no-brainer to have yeah. somebody cover it and follow the right. behind the scenes of it. I mean, uh, it's just you know, it's a matter of time. Um, yeah, yeah. I see. It, I see. I see you. Put, I see you producing some stuff. Oh, 100 yeah. percent. Well, I did produce my first feature. Yeah, it came but, out but, in I August, you, but, yeah. but I see you. I see you in terms of like series. I see you totally doing that. Oh, 100 percent. Oh yeah. Without a doubt. Oh yeah, easily. My, Brain operates that way. I, I believe. I believe it. Now I'm gonna show a scene that makes me laugh from the first episode. Uh, Let's go right here. And um, my agent wanted me to turn it down. Hey, because it wasn't. Hi, it was hi, hi. It's so nice to see you. I know. Crystal is another young actress from daytime soaps. I see her a lot at auditions. Oh, yeah. I just saw her a couple out. days ago. She's interesting. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Crystal Hunt. I'm best known for playing girl. the bad girls Lucy Spaulding on The Guiding Light and Stacey Marasco on One Life to Live. When you play the bad girl so long, people start to think that that's who you are in real life. <laughs> Whatever. Bad girls have more fun. Exactly. Did you guys audition for the same role? I no, I actually went out for the mother. <laughs> she went out for the, with the younger sister, right? Yeah. God, I fear the day when my agent says, so oh, you're going out for the 40-year-old mom. <laughs> we'll just keep rocking the 21 year old roles and she'll just keep going. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think Crystal's trying to be funny, but she's pushing my buttons right now. I had to show that scene. It makes me laugh every time I see yeah, it. It's so, so funny. But, we, I mean, but part of it is true that you guys are on auditions. You probably run into each other, of course, on auditions. I sure. mean, there's also part of it, too, that's. <laughs> Not talk about that a little bit. There's also part of it too Please. that's not non-scripted yes, too. Yes, it's just mm -hmm. non-union television. Yes, I was, that's what, that's what I was going to ask you is this was a reality. This was a reality show. Yeah, but there's definitely or, structure. Yes, I was say it's, it's, it's kind of a and there's things they want to make because that's the thing is that we all got along. So that was the thing is yeah. how, how there would be. There would be no, you, there wouldn't be anything right. interesting. That's what Chrissy said. You guys were fine. You guys were fine. I mean, off camera, you guys were fine. Yeah, everyone right. was just like, okay, we gotta create something here. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. and they would, they would even, they kept bringing people aside and trying to make it secretive to try See. and create drama. Mm -hmm. And we were like, listen, we've been doing this for real, like for a long time. We're very controlled. We know how to at least, you know, keep composure. Yeah. You're gonna have to let us know what it is you're wanting, and then we'll uh, figure out okay. what we can do, like who's gonna be what during what scene, and Got figure it. out who's gonna, like how we're gonna do it, and see if it's something you like, and see if it comes across that well. Because, because we're not gonna, you're not gonna, it just doesn't out. work like that. Right, and like you said, you guys know what you're doing. When all you guys are yeah. seasoned, just tell us what to do, and like, we'll, we get we'll, it. It's right. gotta be entertaining. Right, I, we get it. Right.
Because like seriously, everybody I've met, I mean, of your cast so far, everyone is really nice. I'm like, yeah. I mean, in real life, so it's like, <laughs> but I thought the show was. I mean, the show was so good, and I mean, we think we all really enjoyed it because again, we saw some of you guys who weren't on soaps at the time, and we saw you and just something else, and also it was a soap related thing. Mm-hmm. We need because the soaps are going away. It's like, it's like, it's like there's only four left, and we're like seeing something else is just kind of what soap. There was another soap thing that was reality for a minute, and that went off the air too. It's just like we're like seeing soap people. There's yeah. so many of you guys who are so talented who are working and doing things. We want to know what's going on, and it's like this was another avenue. People, like I said, people are still talking about it. And uh, somebody says in here, it was also good because some people thought it was scripted with all the drama, well, like a soap opera versus unscripted. So. So the guessing game made it interesting to people. Yeah. Like, what was real, what wasn't. I think everybody was in on it, kind of, like... I mean, it really was. Because, but, like, that, but that was the thing, is that they... I think it was really hard on them, because yeah. they did plan to treat it like they do every other... Yes, right, exactly. ...non-scripted And you were like, no, 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 no. And we are no. like... I, you could tell they were like, okay, this isn't working here. Like, you could tell they were all like, <laughs> what are we going to do? I'm like, okay, listen, this whole, like, trying to be sly and, like, taking certain actors away for certain amounts of time oh. and dropping, like, little hints about what you think some people said yes. or whatever. Yes. Like, that doesn't work. Like, yeah. that's not, like... Yeah. Let us know what you want. And we'll work it out. We'll, 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 yeah, we'll go around the circle here and see who's going to be the rude one this Oh, this they're thing. all. Best one was when Crystal brought in Joan Collins. Oh, that was amazing. That was such a bad girl. I know me, I was like, Joan Collins? I mean, you work with some really amazing people. Truly. On all your soaps and in here. But you're amazing people. Truly. Another queen, Joan Collins. I mean, hello. I, I agree. I can't, I, I, I'm obsessed with her. <laughs> I think she's fantastic. She looks... <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. And she has dogs. See, she loves dogs. She does. She loves dogs. True story. That's true story. Now, also. So does Donna. So does Donna. I know she does. So mm -hmm. she does too. I know. Now, we're going to talk about a character that I I love this character. <laughs> and I know John Paul Lavoisier. I know him. I also yeah. met him. No, and he's a great, a great, a great, another great actor who, underrated actor, should be on more things too. He's a really good actor. I completely agree. Oh, he's so underrated. He's just, he's, I mean, he's, he's popping up in things, but like, he's so good. Yeah. He's so he's such a he's natural. How was it? How was it working with him for you? Oh, fantastic! Yeah. So easy, like truly. He and he's still one of my friends. He's yeah. out here now, and yes, he is. Um, anytime there's a poker night or a game <laughs> night, he is a staple. Oh, how funny! Um, and I always keep the largest size container of Heinz ketchup in my fridge, even though my name is Hunt. I don't buy Hunts. That's so funny. I, I love it. Hunts. I love it. I love it. Um, <laughs> the largest one, because I kid you not, you will never have ketchup in your house, because JP Loves will it. house a whole bottle of ketchup. <laughs> I mean, everything he puts ketchup on. <laughs> and I, do, I mean, I thought I was bad, because I've been doing that my entire life. I think one of my first words was kepish, and I thought that was ketchup. <laughs> my mom's like, you put it on everything. You thought it was the cool things down that were hot. <laughs> Thank you, everything. Crystal, you don't put it on that. I do like ketchup, too. I do. But he literally will eat you out of house on so home as far as ketchup and, like, barbecue sauce and sauces go, but ketchup mainly. Oh, yeah, that's so funny. Yeah. Uh, Kenneth Clark wants to know, do you keep in touch with any other members of the cast of Wife to Live? Well, yeah, JP, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, that you worked with. Well, yeah, JP I keep in touch with. In fact, I've introduced him to all of my friends that I've had yeah. that I've accumulated. So now he has a whole new body of friends. Um, I know Cassie DePai, but that's my girl. Cassie DePai, I haven't seen in a while. I really haven't. Yeah. She hasn't really been out to L.A. I, I, had, I had hung out with Bree Williamson a few times. Bree is great. Yeah. But she's been busy. It, Melissa, it my girl Melissa Archer. I haven't yeah. seen her in forever. She's busy. They're busy. They're busy. Um, I hang out with Julia, who is, uh, I don't know if you know Jay Soul. She was she was oh, yes. a makeup artist on yes, Life to Live. Yes, yes, um, And actually... The head of the head of the hair department on One Life to Live moved to my hometown, <laughs> so every time I'm at home Small and I need, I know it was crazy. She's like, I'm retiring and moving to Florida. I'm like, where? <laughs> She's like, wait, oh, just to this this little the town. I was like, oh my god, that's crazy. That is crazy. Now I have someone to do my hair. When you go home, that's right. Mm -hmm, exactly. Mm -hmm. And my mom too. She's like, you thinking that Lori over here do my hair? <laughs> I mean, really, your world is really very small. We're going to show a clip of her and, and Fair Fath going at it. You look scared, Jeech. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. Somebody just trashed my car. Oh, that's terrible. Now, why would anybody do such a thing? I don't know. Maybe because she's jealous. 
and selfish and evil. <laughs> I saw Rex first. What are you, six? You can't just do whatever you want and get away with it. Take Rex and just go back to your perfect little life. Perfect little life? Raising a kid for 10 years all alone? You lied to me. About what? You told me Shane was sick. He is sick. He has leukemia. It's in remission, and we want to keep it that way. Not that you care. You were willing to let your own nephew die so you could get your hooks into a man who can't even stomach you. He loves me. Oh, okay, right. You hang on to that, Stacy. Because now that we have the stem cells, and Rex and Shane know just how sick you are, it's over. There's nothing left for you here. So why don't you do yourself a favor and get out of town before we press charges? Okay. You wrong <laughs> back to Vegas while you snuggle up with Rex? You are so wrong. You may have won the first round, sister. But I promise you, <laughs> the fun has only begun. I'm so giddy just watching this. I, you know, I watched, I, 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 the thing, okay, so bad girls are a staple of soaps. Well, yeah. Back, because you were on a show 2009, 2010, you did come back for, for the series finale week, it's mm -hmm. about that second, you were in Clint's his Hell episode, which was hilarious. Stacy was a bad girl. Like, of course, you and actor playing that is delicious and juicy. But of course, fans get mad at you because yeah. you're, how do, how do you, and now there's social media, how do you handle that? Because well, an actor, you're loving it, of course. I feel like it, it's either one of two ways. Either it's the person that can't separate the fact that it's a character, yes. and you either get death threats or you get wow. like Christian tracts in the mail, wow. like trying to bring you to Jesus. And you're like, is this a character? Is this like, a character? I was Seriously. raised Pentecostal church. Hello, you know, yeah, you know like, all about that. Anytime the door was open, my butt was in a pew. <laughs> my mom was like, keep her in there. I'm like, mom, but mom, you're not even going to church today. I've got a migraine. You're going, though. That's, you're that's not what, getting out of it. That was us too as kids. You, you still went to church. Yes. Exactly. She's like, so, I went my whole life. You're going to put in your time, too. Yes, us too. But you're right. It's like, hello, this is a character. But bad girls are staples on soap. Yeah. You guys move story but then along. But there's people who get it. There are, right. I mean, it's there's the, those people, and then there's the people who totally get it. Yeah. And they are in it. They yeah. are waiting outside the studio. They can't wait to tell you, ooh, girl, I hate you. <laughs> Why did you do this? Or you need to leave her alone. And I mean, everybody's got their own thing. But they get into it. They know it's, they know it's a character. But they get so caught up but they love it and so now homegirl here her character was a stripper she miscarried rex's child but then she tried to pass off fish's child as his well i lost a baby he and lost the baby. i had to hurry up and try to get pregnant right away <laughs> yes. so that he didn't catch on and i lost right. his baby and the guy became gay later yeah that's, that's fish. true whole story well no remember i tried to get um scott clifton's character that's getting right. pregnant too that's, so, right. Yeah. that's right he wasn't so that's right him too who's doing great work on bone before right now um, and you fell through the ice in Lantana Lake. You did. I remember that. You fell through, you fell through and you died. All of 66th Street was just <laughs> slammed. Just, you would not believe it. It would look like, um, it looked like fuel trucks. Yeah. But it was filled with fresh, hot water to fill that lake. Wow. Yeah. I was like, I was pulling up to work. I'm like, what on wow. earth is going on here? Like, that's your lake you're going to drown in. I'm like, <laughs> Oh, okay. I miss that studio. I, I do too. I seriously, I've been there so many times back in the day when all my children was there and you guys were there. I miss that studio. I know, I love I it. Love, first of all, I love New York. New York's my magic place. I have family from New York, so I love it. But I just loved going there. And also they had um, The View was there at one point. The View and, was like right, yeah, right. Uh, well, The View was there and also um, Regis. Yes. And right, and, right and, at the corner. Yes. Yeah. You'd always, you always knew not to go out to that side of the studio. You always head towards Central Park West. <laughs> yes. Like whenever it's that time of day because there's always like all the people waiting out there yes. standby to get yes. seats. I sat, one time I sat outside waiting for, to meet, um, who's I waiting to meet? I was waiting to meet, oh, see a bar watcher to come out and Bill Getty came out. I was like, it's Bill Getty. And he's a producer of the show. And he came out. It's, just, it's, a, it's a beautiful area of, of New York there, too. It's all the trees and just the... Oh, it so really I just, is. I just love that part. It, 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 it's funny how it worked out because my acting coach that I started training with when I was very young, um, that's actually how D Dania, my best friend Donnie Ramirez oh, yeah. and I met. Yeah, they do stuff, uh, I do some stuff with her, too. Yes. From the time that... I, we've been best friends since I was 12. Oh, That's wow. when my godmother to her children. And, oh, and, so yeah. that close. I mean, yeah. I know you guys do stuff together, but I do that. Wow. Yeah, like we just produced our first feature together. Yeah, and, something you were doing there. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like, 
her, she's she was with me. We got belly buttons pierced when I was 13 <laughs> together, and she was with me when I got my driver's license. She went to the wow. DMV with me. Wow. Um, yeah, I know. It's it's. And she's had success too. I mean, so, so yeah, it's really both she's doing once upon a time right now. Yeah. Now um, I want to ask you. So because you were basically because we'll go get to the guy like yeah, next. Yeah, I was just saying it's yeah. the acting coach next door to that building. It's so funny. Like the building right on Central Park oh West. Oh my 66. god. So acting, our acting coach we met. Everything for you, it seems like it's all just like comes so together. Close. It comes together. It really but I would is. say you were in New York, so there were people don't realize there were a lot of New York soaps at the time, like yeah. the Astro World Turns, All My Children was in New York at the time. Mm-hmm. You did a lot. So when you came back for the series finale, what was the mood like? Because you came back and you, you did some scenes, and it's it like. It was. It was different. I'm sure. I don't know how to describe yeah. it, but I think that like. Uh, you know, it's like letting air out of a balloon, or like, or like when you get balloons and they're perfect and they're just they make you happy because they're all like you know dancing along the ceiling, yeah. versus like a few days later where they're kind of sagging. Yeah. It had that kind of feeling because everybody yeah. knew they had their date and like yeah. it was kind of as much as they were happy to see everybody, yeah. it, everybody was also kind of deflated and sad. Yeah, I'm sure. It just I'm had sure. a very different energy. I feel like very sure. different than what it used I'm to be. Sure. I'm sure. Now, before that, because I so we could talk forever, but you know, of course, we're getting low on time. She was Lizzie Spalding. Oh, I got you light. Now, I want to show a piece of her work on that. You're trying to fix it all night. Do not let that plane get off the ground. John Driscoll. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's so tall. Be creative. In Think of something. Life, just, right? like yeah. tall. Be yourself, but yeah. whatever it is, just. I'm on my way, okay? Be myself? I just love you as Lizzie. You're so funny. What's wrong with you? Thank you. you. Pale. At him. Yeah, what later on what happened with him? Right. Is that like crazy? He's a great actor. I mean, he's a great actor on here. He's he's brilliant. We, he you know was what? a brilliant actor in Green Mile. Yes, I mean, yes, that's a yes. Right the whole but yeah, I guess, I guess he's getting a divorce Lizzie, now. I, told, I know crazy. what you told me, but I don't believe you. Where's my dog? You were yeah, eavesdropping on you naughty, naughty girl. Yes, I was, because I knew something was up. Where's Roxy? Believe me, that little mutt is the least of your problems. She is not a mutt. <laughs> I have her papers. <laughs> okay, whatever you say, but you know what? If your grandfather doesn't unload a buttload of money to me... Wait, wait, why does everyone look at me and see dollar signs? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you're loaded? <laughs> I'm a person, too, though, okay? I have feelings. When you prick me, I bleed, just like anyone else. When you prick me, I bleed? That is so original. <laughs> Weird and dumb. It's amazing you get a date. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I need a soda. I don't drink out of cans. Oh, sorry. Okay. Relax, Lizzie. You have the entire flight to try to manipulate me. We can't leave yet. Why not? I have to do my yoga. Right. I will get sick and get cold sweats. I'll break out in hives. Don't even get me started. I'm... Starting. <laughs> if you don't mind the smell of my throw up, that's fine. Uh, you do your damn yoga and you do it fast. Um... <laughs> so I want to show that because on this show, it really, I mean, on both shows kind of, but on this show, it really showcased your comedy. Yeah. I just thought you were you're such a great comedian. I actually didn't think about that. No, seriously. When I, I was, thought Sydney White was like my my main I loved you comedy that too. I loved you that too. But that no, that is that's comedy. Yes, we're sitting here laughing. You know what? You're right. And a lot of Thank things you. that Lizzie did. A lot I of things. Think about see, that at all. she learned something herself today too. But you're right. Yes, I that, had some comedy to put on the reel before I knew mm-hmm. it. And because Sydney White, you're good in that too. That's another story. But that, I mean, but to me, Lizzie was kind of that. She was funny sometimes. You and Coop, that whole storyline was a bomb. And people are talking about that already in here. So just and, and about Roxy and everything, but you just we were really funny, but you also could be serious in one scene. Amazing. Thank you. I mean, so, I mean you should you should do more comedies too. You should do more comedies. Um, yeah, I agree. Tell everybody out there too. Yeah, good for comedies. You and, need to bring Crystal Hunt in for more comedies. Okay, Kenneth Clark says my cousin Nicole wanted me to tell you she loved your character in the movie Sydney White. Oh, thank you. Let me say that. Uh, oh, it's a rest in peace, New York soaps. We will never forget you. Yes, oh, we will never forget them. They were all wonderful, well produced. Uh, great subs. Now on that True. show, again, so on that show, you got nominated for an Emmy for Younger mm-hmm. Actress in 2005. Do you remember that night at all? Do you remember being nominated? Can you forget that? I, that's night? What I, was, I, was, I, was, I don't think so. But I was going to ask people like, what's well, it? first of all, it's the longest red carpet like in history. Oh, it's long. Okay. Yeah, because it went from the Sheraton, New York, on yeah. 53rd and 7th okay. to 
Rockefeller. Oh yeah, if we go that right. Yes, yes. Well, almost Rock. You know, it's Radio City. Yeah, I know that is. Yeah, I know that is. Yeah, that's a that's a long way. I didn't think I didn't feel like it was that that long. I mean, it's a bit of a trek. Yes, (laughs) in heels, in a tight dress. It's not even. It's not even the length of it. It's it's that that whole thing is is press. I mean, there's press cameras. There's interviews. There's everything. The entire entire length of it. Yeah. Um, In fact, my dad. <laughs> but I mean, there's a Florida girl in me still at the end. Yes, so, like, of course. Get the good Florida girl in there. At the very end of a night of a lot of heel wearing, <laughs> yes, you, they end up off. I'm sure. Um, sure barefoot, and, and that's right. And I am 100 certain. I walked home from the Waldorf Astoria barefoot in my Versace gown, <laughs> and it was so funny because my dad's a big guy. Yes. So, in a lot of some of his weight is in his, in his neck area. Yes. So when he has to wear something that's buttoned up, oh. he's not happy about it. <laughs> yes. So he's just sat there the whole night. He's like, when we when we left, he goes, "We're already home." <laughs> I said, "Yeah." He goes, oh, "If I had known we were this close, I would have walked back a while ago." He's like, "I've been miserable in this tuxedo." Just... <sighs> Poor dad. He's like, "That's why I've been sitting there propped up." He's like, "I felt like he was cutting off my air supply." <laughs> <laughs> Poor dad. But yeah, no, it, it was a long. Long night. Did you think? Did you go into it thinking you were? That was gonna going, black out when they did the cameras. When they do the cameras on you, yes, they do. And they're like, and the uh, the nominees are, yes, and then they're like, and then they put a camera on all of you at the same time when you're waiting to hear. Yes. I, I, I felt hot. I felt cold. I felt like my eyes were watering. I felt like my nose was watering. I felt all these very unattractive, uncomfortable things you didn't all look, at you didn't, once. You, you didn't look that way. You looked fine. That's so funny. funny. It's on YouTube. You look fine. Yeah. No, I have seen it. And I'm like, God, thank God I couldn't tell exactly what was going on. But I, I literally was like, I felt like I could possibly just like... <laughs> Any time, for real. It's like it wouldn't surprise me. Like here's where it comes. Yes. This is when it's gonna happen. Well, do you go in thinking that you might win, or do you go in thinking I'm not gonna win? I'm just gonna sit here and just. Or what do you What do you go in thinking? Um, I mean, obviously, there's always a part of you that's like, well, maybe. Yeah. But also, there's also a little bit of like, you know, that there's that you know that this person, you know, really had some great footage the last couple years yeah. and really did deserve it but they gave it to somebody because yes. that was their last opportunity mm-hmm. and i kind of knew that there was already word There's that there positive, was yeah. there was already word that that was kind of what was going to happen yeah. because it was her last opportunity and yeah. even though her foot her her clips uh that she submitted that year weren't probably the best Every other year yeah. that she had were, yeah. and this was her last opportunity because yeah. she was leaving the show. So, and so, you, so you, do you get to see other people's clips? Do you get to see them, or no? Um, do you ever take a look at, or no? You don't take a look. You don't get to see them. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't. I, don't I mean, I, I imagine me could probably. Yeah, that's one. Get of, a you know, get a hold yeah. of them. I guess I just I had already spent so much time going through mine. Yeah, okay, I, I guess like, so. Right. I'm like. Oh yeah. I work on the soap opera. I don't. I don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what the fans just said. Your version of Lizzie was funny yet spoiled yet troubled, but she was also learning how to be herself while being a Spalding. That's that's actually a really great, good way to describe. I mean, I was learning mm-hmm. how to be myself. I was seventeen, so I was still figuring a lot out, and I wasn't put into like a young storyline. I was thrown in. Yes, with, you were. You know. Ron Rains and, and Grant Alexander and, Great and Beth Chamber. Oh my God, so many fantastic people. I know. Um, but yeah, I, I was thrown into big storylines right away. I mean, I had to burn down the Spalding Mansion. Really and, that. Yeah, yes. it's like, <laughs> I was like, wow, really, really starting it off light here. And you worked with an animal. Like, they gave you an animal. I mean, like, they'll say you work well, with animals and children. that happened because I, they knew I had her. Yeah. And so the writers were like, oh, my God, how great would it be if Lizzie had a dog? Fuck yes. Yeah. I feel like I had a lot of storylines. It was so good. It was so good. Roxy was great. Thank you. Um, do you keep touch with any of the GH? I mean, GL, of course, Ghost Stars, any of them? It's been a long well, time. Well, I'm still close with Scott Bailey. Um, oh, wow. Okay, and, yeah. in fact, he's a part of the usual uh, poker. poker night. Very good. Okay, um, very good. Group. Um, in fact, I, I just talked to my mom on the way over here. She said, I just hung up with Scott. <laughs> and he's in Louisiana <laughs> working on something. I'm like, oh, okay. Good for him. Yeah, like, good for him. Yeah. yeah. He'll never forget anything. He's the, he's always on the lookout for me for things. I'm always on the lookout for yeah. him for things. Oh, good. And um, never gets, forgets my birthday. Always uh, remembers to wish me happy birthday. No. Um, and his daughter, him and Adrian's daughter, oh, my God, just oh, so cute. gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I love, I love her it. pieces. I just bought love her it. matching pink Uggs to match me. Oh, she, he's like. 
she won't take them off. He's like, he's like, I slipped. Them. He's like, I took your advice and slipped them off the very first night and and scotch guarded them overnight. He's like, from that point on, she sleeps in them even. Oh he's like, we God. cannot how cry them off her feet. Oh, how cute! Oh, I love that. I know because I have good ten, I have ten nieces and nephews, and then all of them are big. So I don't oh, have any. Funny. I mean, the oldest one just passed the bar. She's a lawyer. So I'm like, <laughs> it's not like I'm helping her plan her wedding. I'm like, I'm not like buying little pink yes. Uggs that are this yes. big, you know? I have great nieces and nephews. My nieces and nephews are in kids. I so. do too. Yeah, I have so, two. My, my, my yeah. niece just had my second yeah. great niece. So it's kind of fun to see them have kids. And I'm like, I'm still nine years old. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. I, don't know how, I don't know how I'm this old to have oh, great what, nieces and nephews. I'll tell you what's funny yeah. is, is now she's finally caught on that like, you can't really convince oh. the older person of that, even if I'm not a lot older than her. So, well, we weren't trying. I'm like, mm -hmm. girl. Yeah, we know the deal. I'm not that much older than you, <laughs> but I can tell you this. They're not hard no. to keep at bay uh, no. if you don't want one come Hello. along. Hello. I'm like, mm -hmm. so by the second time now, yes. she's like, I'm like, Okay, girl. Do you remember when you tried to convince me of that last time? <laughs> she just started laughing. I was like, we need to get you fixed. Yep, I'll get you fixed. Oh, my God, I love it. She's like, oh, no, no, no. He's going to. I'm like, no, you're the problem, you too, girl. You're, you're, you. like, you like, you're my niece. I'm, you're the one I'm looking out for. <laughs> Crystal, you're the best. Thanks for coming in. Thank what you. a What a pleasure talking to you. Same here. I've had a blast with you. You have made you've made my week. I, I've always been a fan of yours, so I'm just glad to sit down with you. Aw, thank you. And you are red too, and I yes. wore some red too for yes. Valentine's Day. Of course, Day Valentine's week. Day. Yes, we, we're getting ready. That so. was actually my due date. I was due on Valentine's Day, and I came really? early. Oh, wow, how funny. Well, in a way, it's kind of good. You have your own birthday, and then there's the, the, exactly. the holiday. So you can follow her at Crystal on Twitter at Crystal underscore Hunt. She is there. You're on Instagram also, I believe. Same thing, yeah. Same thing. So you can follow her there. And one last thing. Do you have anything new out at the moment? You say you did a film with Danica, uh, Dania last. Danya, Ramirez, and I, we produced our first feature, Lycan. Lycan, okay. And you guys can catch that. It's on Amazon. You can okay. catch it on... Uh, you can run it in red, red box. You can Perfect. run it everywhere, yeah. So I'll post it on my page, too, so you can see I'll post a link so you guys can see it. Absolutely. Make sure, make sure you can sure. rent it. Thank you guys for watching. This is Spotlight On After Buzz TV. You can follow us on iTunes. You can follow us on, on YouTube and on SoundCloud. I'm James Lodge. You can follow me where all James Lodge Juniors are. James Lodge <laughs> Jr. See you next time. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. And three people in here said the same thing. <laughs>